Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ito na yung part 2 ng inyong center radius form of equation which is module number 7 and 8 na or week number 7 and 8 na ng inyong mga module. So, ito na yung continuation ng ating learning task number 2 kung saan number 4 na yung ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano nyo ba sasagutan. Pero bago natin simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na like, na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Okay, for number 4, you have to change the equation of the circle into general form. So, given this one, kailangan maging general form ang itsura niya. So, paano ba natin siya gagawin? O, tanggalin ko lang to ha, para walang sagabal sa atin dyan. Okay, kailangan i-expand natin ito. Okay, so let's expand ito. Ito muna unahin natin ha. This one is x plus 2 squared. Okay, anong ibig sabihin nito? Since naka-square ito, dapat i-multiply mo siya sa sarili niya. You will have here x plus 2 and then x plus 2. Okay, so let's have yung foil method or yung sinasabing smile method. x times x. You have x squared. Okay, yung kilay. And then, yung baba. x times 2, you have positive 2x. And then, 2 times x, you have a positive 2x also. And then, yung isa pang kilay, 2 times 2, you have 4. So, plus 4. Ayan. Okay, so, ano na mangyayari dito? I-add natin to. So, you will have your x squared plus 2x plus 2x, you have 4x plus 4. Ito ngayon, ito siya. Okay? Paano naman ito? So, we have here y plus 4 and then naka-square din siya. So, we will have here now y plus 4 and then y plus 4. Okay? So, ganito ulit, smile method ulit. So, we have y times y, we have y squared. Okay, yung baba, y times 4, you have plus 4y. And then, 4 times y, 4y din siya. Okay, and then, 4 times 4, you will have here 16. And then, you add yung middle term, you will have here now y squared plus 4y times 4y. Uh, 4y plus 4y, you will have here 8y plus 16. Okay, this one na. O kaya may shortcut tayo dyan ha. O tingnan nyo yung shortcut natin. X plus 2. Diba? Naka-square dyan. O, square mo yung first term. So, you will have your X is squared. Tapos, twice ng product ng first and second. So, X times 2, you have 2X. E, twice siya. So, times 2. You will have there 4X. And then, 2 times 2, you have 4. O, ayan na. Pareho lang yung naging sagot, diba? O, gawin din natin dito sa uh, isa. Okay, square mo yung first term, y squared. Twice the product of the first and the second, so y times 4 is 4 times 2, you have 8y. And then, squared of the last, so you will have 16. O ha, the same din siya. Ito yung pinaka-shortcut niya. Kaya lang, applicable lang siya. Kapag square of binomial, yung shortcut natin, ha? Okay, now, let's ha, uh, let's uh, finalize. Magkakaroon ka ngayon dito ng x squared, okay, plus 4x plus 4, okay, plus y squared plus 8y plus 16 equals to... 9. O, oh, paano natin gagawin dyan? Ah, uh, ito, saka ito, saka ito, pwede silang pagsamasamahin, ha? The rest, kukopyahin lang natin. So, dapat naka-arrange siya in uh, descending order. So, let's have first x squared 
plus, o oh, itong y squared, kasi pareho silang squared. And then, plus a 4x, so ito, nasulat na ito, okay na rin. And then, 4x, plus 8y. Ito, saka ito. Tapos, you will have plus a 4, plus 16, and then, ito, kailangan natin ilipat dito, kasama nila. So, from positive, magiging negative na siya. Negative 9 equals to 0. Now, pwede nating i-operate itong tatlo. Ha? Yung pare-parehong number. So, what is a 4 plus 16? That is 20. Minus 9, that is 11. So, you will have here x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 8 y plus 11 equals to 0. This is now the general form. Okay? For number 5, what is the center and radius of the circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared minus 12x plus 4y plus 4 equals 0? Mahirap ma-identify ito kasi naka-general form siya. Kailangan gawin natin siyang standard form or yung center radius form. Okay, paano natin gagawin yun? So, we have to write it first. O, sige ha, para madali. Ayan. So, ang una natin gagawin, i-grupo natin yung may magkakapareho ng variable. So, we have x squared and then minus 12x. O, sila yung magka-group. Plus, we have y squared plus 4y. O, sila din magka-group. So, eto, okay na, okay na, okay na. Si 4, dahil solo siya, ilipat natin, ha? So, from positive, pag nilipat siya, magiging negative 4 na siya. And then, kailangan natin i-apply ang completing the square. O, natatandaan nyo pa to ng grade 9 kayo. So, we have your x squared minus 12x plus blank. Okay, yung sa first group plus y squared plus 4y plus blank. Okay, equals to negative 4 plus kung ano yung in mo dito, i-add mo din dito plus blank. Kung ano din yung inad mo dito, i-add mo din dito, ha? Para maging equal sila. Now, paano ba natin ina-identify yung third term? Okay, ang formula natin dyan ay b over 2 and then you square it. Ibig sabihin, yung value ng b nyo, i-divide nyo sa 2, tapos i-square mo siya para makuha mo yung c. Ngayon, eto si a, eto si b, eto si c. So, ang b natin dito ay negative 12. So, we have your negative 12 over 2, you square it. Oh, what is negative 12 divided by 2? That's negative 6. Negative 6 is squared. So, negative 6 times negative 6, that is how many? 36. Okay, so you will have your 36. Dapat i-add mo din dito si 36. Okay, for the next group, we have ang b natin ay 4. So, you will have your 4 divided by 2 and then you square it. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Squared ng 2, so 2 times 2, you have 4. Okay, so you have here 4 and then 4 dito. Okay, now, dahil ganyan na yan, kailangan natin kunin yung factors nito. Pero may shortcut tayo dyan, ha? Okay, makakakuha tayo dyan ng square of binomial. O, tingnan natin to. Ano ang square root ng first term? We have x. Okay, how about square root ng last term? What is the square root of 36? We have 6. And then, what is the sign of the middle term? Minus, and then you square it. Ito na ngayon yung square of binomial ng gantong product. Okay, how about this one? Ano ang square root nito? Ng y squared? Y. How about the square root of 4? You have 2. Ano ang sign ng middle term natin? Plus. And then, you square it. Okay? Nag-gets ba yung pinaka-technique? Kunin lang yung square root ng first, square root ng last, and then yung middle term, yun yung magiging sign nila. Okay? Equals to what is negative 4 plus 36 plus 4. So, we have here, 36 plus 4, 40 minus 4, you have 36. Okay. So, eto na ngayon yung ating... Uh, center radius of form. Kasi pwede na natin makuha yung center, pwede na rin natin makuha yung radius. Pero tatandaan ninyo na ang formula natin for standard form, 
I, eto, wait lang. We have X minus H and then squared plus Y minus K and then you have to square it equals to R squared. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Ano ngayon ang value ng H natin? Since pareho silang minus, ang H natin ay equals kay 6. Ano ngayon ang K natin? O, titignan natin na ang K, ang Y na, ang, tama, ang formula natin ay Y minus K. Pero dito, naging positive siya. Ibig sabihin, anong value ni K, ang pag minus natin dito, magiging plus ito. Paano to magiging positive? Ibig sabihin, ang naging value ng K natin ay negative. Tama ba? Kasi, kaya siya naging positive, that is Y. Okay, and then we have y minus negative 2. Pag ito ay sinimplify natin, that will be y plus 2. Na ito siya, diba? So, ibig sabihin, ang ating k ay negative 2. Okay? Hindi ba sa kuha ng kuha ng value ha? Pag naging positive na yung naging form ninyo, ibig sabihin, ang original niyang sign ay negative. Ngayon, kung minus pa rin, positive siya. Kasi, hindi nagbago yung sign na. Doon nyo lang siya i-consider kapag naging plus na yung operation. Okay? Now, for 36, okay, ito ay resulta ng in-squared na R. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung R lang, kasi ito ay ang katumbas na R squared, you have to get the square root of 36. Okay? For R squared, di ba nakaganyan? equals to 36. Para matanggal ito, you have to get the square root. Para R na lang siya. Oh, what is R? So, ano yung multiply mo sa sarili niya para maging 36? You have 6. So, your R here is 6. Okay, now, let's answer. Ang center natin will be 6 and then negative 2 and then yung radius natin is 6. Okay, so ito yung magiging guide ninyo, ha? Galingan ninyo. And then for number 6, let's determine the equation of the circle given the figure. Okay, this one, ha? Kung sa inyo medyo malabo, ito linawan natin, lakihan natin ng onte. Okay, identify natin yung equation na. Para makuha natin yung equation, kailangan natin ang center. Okay, ang center natin ay HK which is xy also. So, tingnan natin. Ang x, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. So, nakatapat siya kay 4. And then, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang center mo ay 4, 5. Okay, how about the radius? Bilangin natin ito. So, we have here 1, 2, ang labo, 3, Ito yun, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, our radius is 6. Dahil meron na tayo nun, pwede na natin gawin yung uh, equation niya. So, you have your x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. So, let's see. So, we have x minus, ano ang h natin? 4. Okay, and then you square it plus y minus 5 and then you square it equals to r squared. O, i-squared yun yung ano natin, yung r natin. So, hindi lang 6 ha, that's a 6 times 6. O, ilagay na nga natin dito muna. O, 6 squared. So, you will have your x minus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals to 6 times 6, 36. So, eto na ang inyong equation. O, ayan na. Okay, kung nakatulong itong video na ito, yung number 7, isunod ko na lang ha, ihiwalay ko siya. Kung nakatulong sa inyo itong video na ito, please i-comment yan dyan sa baba. Ah. Mag-iwan kayo ng comment kahit simpleng thank you lang para maapit ang video na ito at makita rin siya ng iba. Para mag-guide din naman natin yung mga nahihirapan sa math. Ha? Kaya wag aalis ng hindi nagko-comment. Okay, laging tandaan. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!